Bless God. Amen. It says, Wherefore put away what? Right. Right. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are all members of one another. Put away lying. Put away lying. Why are we lying to each other? Amen? Why are we lying to each other? What's the purpose of that? It's not beneficial. Listen to me. Hear me clear. The Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake that burns with fire. He ain't talking about a grill. A lake. Just imagine it in my close eyes for a minute. Let's imagine a lake. Now imagine that lake with fire. You will have your part. In other words, he said you got a reservation in there. This is slotted for you, liar. I ain't calling nobody to be a liar. But I mean, if you're doing it and it hits your foot, then you got to get it right. Amen? Amen? He says, put away lying. Because when we're lying to one another, we're not lying to this flesh. We're lying to the Spirit of God. And the Bible records that there was a couple who lied to the very Holy Ghost that was in, I believe it was Peter, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as they begin to lie about what they were possessing, they dropped dead. This ain't Old Testament. This is New Testament. <clears throat> so you can sit there and sing about grace and mercy all you want to, but if God decides to say, poop, you dead. You just told a lie to me. Somebody, you better stop lying. That's a serious offense to God. Serious. Amen? Stop lying. Tell the truth. The Bible says, speak the truth every man with his neighbor. We are all members of one another. So if you lie to your brother, then you're lying to yourself. Because you are connected one to another. If you hurt somebody in the body, you're hurting part of yourself. When you deceive somebody in the body, you're deceiving yourself. Okay. Brother Timmy, you praying for me, brother? Bless God, we're going to get through this. Amen. Says, be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So the Bible says that we have an opportunity and a right to be angry. There are things that happen. You know, people can't say, well, you're a Christian. You, you ain't supposed to be angry. I don't read that. I can get angry, but I just can't punch you in the eye. Hey, Amen? Oh, some people don't punch some folks. <laughs> Jesus. All right. It says, be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. In other words, get it right before this day is over. Go ahead and be angry. But at 11.59... You better have resolved your issues. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now don't wait till 1159. Because you don't know if Jesus is going to come back at that time. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. All right. So anyway, let's move on. It says, neither give place to the devil. See, when we're angry and we're offended, we give the opportunity to the enemy. We allow him to come in and speak to our minds and to our hearts, and we allow him to govern us and tell us what to do. Oh, y'all, come on. You know when somebody makes you mad and you don't say anything at that particular time, who comes to you and says, you should have said this? They don't know who they're talking to. Why you let them talk to you like that, you wimp? And you're like, man, you, you really mad. Now you're like, mm, I should have said something. And he's steadily gaming you up and turning you on. Go ahead, go ahead. You should have said this. You should have said that. Go back and tell them. And this was two hours later. You get them on the phone now, five days later. And you lay them out. You get on the phone all worked up. Hello? Look, I ain't like what you said to me the other day. And they're like, hello? What's wrong with you? Don't give place to the devil. And even more serious, when you get angry, sometimes the devil will cause you to really sin. Hey. 
You know when you was in a relationship, some of you, when you got mad at that other person, you went and got with somebody else because they made you mad? Oh, y'all acting like y'all so sanctified in this place. <laughs> Revenge sex. <laughs> okay. Okay. God, I'm not testifying, bless God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Or maybe you didn't have sex. Maybe you just called that other person. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Neither give place to the devil. You know how the devil try to get you to 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 to, to, to uh, what is, what they call it to uh, to hit them hit them back. In other words, revenge, retaliate. There you go. Thank you, brother. Retaliate. Oh, they said this. You say that. They said this about you. You say that about them. Okay, Paul's not talking to sinners. He's talking to the body of Christ. Amen. Well, they going to say that about me. I'm going to say this about them. I'm going to mess everything up. Go ahead and mess everything up and let God get you. Neither give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no more. There's no thieves in here, right? I don't steal, Pastor Mason. I don't steal nothing. Never stole a day in my life. You steal time at work? When you should be uh, working, you preaching? You steal the time. Amen? Because really they're not paying us to preach. They're paying us to work. Oh, I got to do what God said. You're going to sign that as pink slip, too. <laughs> God is a God of decency and order. And order. I don't steal, Pastor Mason. So I'm still from God. I don't take nothing from the church. You don't give nothing to the church either. <laughs> Go wreck the car, Brother Ken. <laughs> God stealing from God. Stealing from God. Amen? Uh, well, let's see. Let him who stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good. That he may have to give to him that needed. So now when they stop stealing and they start working, it's not even for them now. <laughs> Somebody said, dang. Okay, now God is saying, look, okay, now, now that you stop stealing and you got yourself a job and you're working and you're doing some things, now go ahead and distribute. Since you've been stealing, distribute now. You've been taking, so now I want you to give. Amen. Amen. Steal is a time. Steal is of anointing. What are you talking about, Pastor Mason? You know, when you have a meeting with the pastor and the pastor, you ask for advice and, and you don't do what the pastor asks you to do, you just stole the time. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I think you should do this. Let's see what the word says. The word says you should do this. Okay, thank you, Pastor. Turn around. Go right out that door with your own mouth. I'm, I'm going to do it like this, Brother Timmy. You know what Pastor Mason said? Thank God for him, but I can mm. God speaks to me, too. Yeah, okay. Let God speak to you. I'm not mad at nobody, bless God. I love y'all. I've just got this. i, I got to put this out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, my visitors, are y'all y'all comfortable? Bless God. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to see you again. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Bless God. It says, rather let him who stole steal no more, but rather let him work, let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is.